Yo yo yo! What is up, guys? It's your boy Rizzy Gaming, and this is—it's like an '80s retro game. It's called Distoria. It's like an arcade feel, kinda. If you ever been to like an arcade or like, you can say, um, basically Chuck E. Cheese, and like I—they usually have some like these type of like. 80 feels games they don't have it that much anymore but like back in my day when I was really young like 10 they had it but yeah uh let's get started so this guy's walking and then just like exploded in the background by the way, guys, that was so hyped. Um, this is kind of a sponsored video. Uh, Distora gave me an early game key. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be able to say that, but um, Distora gave me an early game key and basically um, gave me access to this game for free for to kind of show like a gameplay of me playing it and kind of my interactions and my feelings on it. This UFO just picked up this guy, which is really weird. I honestly, for this type of game, which I bet I like the backstory. By the way, the backstory is just—it looks like this is the backstory on how like everything went down, and now we're going to the real game. Um, yeah. But yeah, um, Social Blade, my partnership company, they hooked me up with this game. Um, from the story and they want me to make a video on it and I want to make a video on it because it looks like a pretty um, cool game anyways so yeah um yeah I really do love the graphics though the graphics is like amazing like for this type of game since it's like arcade feel I was reading the um, other reviews It is. Uh, Alright, guys, so I, I just picked out my ship and. Cryoshin. Cryo. Cryoshin 1. Ooh. Alright, let me get the feel of this game. Oh, am I supposed to collect this? I'm just gonna go get these guys. What is that thing? I don't know. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is pretty cool. It's. Kind of. A little hard to control but it's pretty cool it's looks like I'm supposed to collect these orbs I'm just gonna go around and collect them and get those orange thingy majiggies <sighs> okay all these orbs are mine portal open what does that mean where do I go I didn't read anything, I just tried to skip through everything. So, that's why you guys saw me just click a whole bunch of buttons. Uh, I guess I gotta kill this guy. I did read the controls, which is one thing I always read before I play a game, because I never want to, like, kind of lose my, um, thing. Wow, I did not know that would explode like that. That was crazy. I'm not sure if I said this before, but I did mute all the game sounds just because of recent copyright strikes. I could kill this guy. Ooh, that blue thing up there. What is that? Oh. Yeah, but I did take out all the sound, guys. I'm just gonna take that. I did take off all the sound because of my copyright strikes. I don't want to risk anything. Three bombs. I'm just like reading. I know on the bottom is popping all that stuff. I'm just saying all that stuff. Cause, yeah. 
should I put background music at least like not because I have a new a new program I signed up for I can use music now uh, I just didn't want to risk this I like how you can just like shape shift kind of like go on different parts of the map just by flying off of it this is cool it's like um that's that it's a computer game I used to play that's exactly like this uh game cube cube run or something like that 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 was fun it's it's kind of like this but you weren't fighting any of those blocky guys I wonder where this really originated from. Like, you ever wonder, like, how games, like, who thought of these games? Like, who thought of this, like? And that mission is finished. Wow. Alright, guys, I'm gonna end it short, because I have a lot of stuff to do.